Good afternoon, ma'am. How are you? Good afternoon. Just wait for one minute. Three o three. Mag start na tayo ng class. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, wait lang. Okay, good afternoon. So, we will start our class. So, we're on the the last topic for module 3. So, by next week, midterm na po ang uh, uh, midterm exam yun na po by next week. Okay, so wake up muna ako ha. So, for our um for our uh, quiz number three, it will be available by tomorrow in your Google Classroom or in your group, uh, Facebook group chat. So, ibibigay ko yung uh, link ng inyong quiz number three. The coverage is module three. So, you have 40 minutes to answer your quiz. And for your midterm, the coverage for your midterm exam is um, module one, two, three. Multiple choice, 50 items, one point each item. So that will be 50 points for your midterm. So the passing will be 25 points. So ibig sabihin, on the 25 and above, passing po, pass na po kayo sa midterm exam. Pero yung uh, mga, those who fail to pass the midterm exam, don't worry. Um, there are quizzes and activities that I gave you. That will be part of your score for the for this subject, okay? <clears throat> and then, um, ang time limit ng inyong midterm will be one hour and thirty minutes. So the uh, the policies in this school is to give the midterm on the on our schedule. For example, we will meet Tuesday three to five at uh, three to four thirty. So to cater other of uh, uh, your other classmates yung mga nag offline and also those uh, classmates na may trabaho those in the morning uh, in the office hours so i have create a midterm that is available for you katulad ng quiz pero ang quiz kasi pwede siyang saturday hanggang saturday hanggang sunday yung quiz nyo so this time Midterm, distance is a midterm, so para mga bigay ko din ng time para yung mga offline. So ginawa ko na lang, available ang midterm by November 18 at 1 p.m. Until November 20, which is Friday, of 5 p.m. Okay, so coverage is module 1, 2, 3. So ibig sabihin by next week, you will not meet. Just do or prepare yourselves for the... Do your, you do your other activities or prepare yourselves for the midterm exam. So it will be available November 18 to November 20. So 
any time, any dates be in between November 18 and November 20, pwede nyo kunin ang inyong midterm exam. And, sorry, and it will be, a bit, uh, it will be 1 hour and 30 minutes. So, if ever, as in sila multiple choice, kahit may problem solving doon, uh, just prepare yourself with a ball pen and a scratch paper for your, for your solving. But it doesn't mean that you need to picture your solutions and send it there in the group chat. I mean, in the Google form. Kasi multiple choice lang yun. So, you pipili, pipili kayo kung ano po ang magiging answer ninyo. So, the answers will be in the choices. So, to be sure na correct yung ating chinos na answer, so you need to solve. So, just prepare a ball pen and a scratch paper. So, we will discuss mod, uh, the the your quizzes, your quiz number three and mo, midterm exam after this discussion. So, magdi-discuss muna ako kasi baka ma meron mamayang, may, may, mamaya meron ding papasok na mga kaklase nyo. So, at the end of the our, our discussion today, so, i-discuss ko uli ang quiz three and module, ah, module, midterm. So, Ito, last na ito, itong last topic. So, we will discuss Unit 2 and Unit 3. So, Unit 2 and Unit 3 are just, uh, konti lang yung kanyang discussion. So, that is why baka mga one hour matapos na po tayo sa pag-discuss ng ating lecture for today. So, by tomorrow, so give me time to upload the lecture uh, by tomorrow, yung, mga, yung video lecture natin. And then, I will give you the YouTube link for you to... Uh, to review kung ano yung nandoon for, and also for review sa inyong klase. Okay? So, so ngayon, so we are now on the unit 2. This is part of uh, of your module 1, a uh, module 3. So, problem solving to, pero with patterns. So, I already discussed patterns in the module one so this time we will use patterns in problem solving so what are these patterns so patterns hindi ko na discuss yung patterns so yung mga hindi na discuss sa module one yun lang po ang hindi, ang hindi discuss ko okay so ang hindi na discuss is what is the definition uh, the def definition of a sequence so siyang sequence daw ito yung sequence so, it is a collection of terms. So, we have term 1, the term 2, term 3, term 4, fourth term or the fifth term, and ang, ang wala is the sixth term. So, this is an ordered list of numbers. Yun po ang definition ng sequence. Okay, so in this, uh, in this uh, problem solving, so mostly sinasabi natin is what is the next term? So, what is the next term? is diniscuss ko na to nung module 1. Ngayon, ito yung additional. What will be the formula or rule? So, ang hanapin natin is the general formula wherein it can help us to generate a specific terms. Ibig sabihin yung specific terms, for example, ito, um, first term, second, three, ka third, ka apat, ka five, ka six. So, by getting the common difference, common ratio, how about kung ika-10? So, kailangan mo pa pang dadaanin yung mga let numbers? No. In finding the general term nito, pwede mo na diretso kukunin yung 10th term. Kahit hindi na uh, dadaanan pa si 6, si 7, si 8, at si 9. Then, diretso mo na makukuha using the general formula or the rule. Okay. So, we all know already the definition of difference table. Ito yung kinukuha natin yung difference nila by subtracting the two, the two terms or by getting the addition. Diba? So, the difference table is the differences between successive terms. Be successive yung magkasunod. So, ito yung mga differences. So, we get the differences of the two successive terms. This is the common difference in the first first layer. Common difference in the second layer. So, ibig sabihin, pwede din palang kunin hanggang sa third differences, fourth differences, ibig sabihin, ilang layers na siya. But, Sorry. but take note, ha? For example, 
kinuha mo pa yung fourth. Tapos yung fourth ay hindi common. Tapos kukunin mo pa yung last. So, ibig sabihin, hindi na yung pwede. So, it doesn't mean that yung sa example kong binigay, I mean activity, wherein you're going to get the the finding the number, uh, finding the next term. So, pag hindi pa rin makuha to, through difference table, use for use other um, strategies. Like yung baka ang difference nila is addition, uh, subtract, I mean, uh, multiplication or different uh, or ang difference nila is through division or baka naman it is a uh, it is a square number or a cube number yung diniscuss ko nung um nung mod module 1 okay so we will discuss that in the in the deeper part of this topic okay for example this one so what will be the next term? So, we get that on the third differences, nakuha na natin yung common difference nila, which is 6. So, after that, you just add 30 to the 6, and you get 36, add 89, we get 135, then you add 25, 125 to 107, and we got 332. So, this means that this is the next term for this sequence. Okay, so itong sequ uh, sequence, so diniscuss ko na ito nung ating module 1. So ito yung additional, the end term formula. What is the purpose of the end term formula? So ito sa special kind of cases, it generates the terms of the sequence through patterns. Through patterns pa rin ang gagamitin. Okay. So, this is an example of an n-term formula. So, for a certain layer, we have the general formula, 3n. So, itong, three, itong n, we just substitute that with a whole number. Kahit anong whole, num kahit anong whole number. For example, ah, later in example. So, we define first. So, it is a sequence and provides a method for finding any term. So, ibig sabihin any term, hindi mo na kailangan pang dadaanin isa-isang layer para magkuha ang number. So, kahit in, anong term, pwede mo nang kunin. Basta meron ka ng general uh, formula or the end term formula. Okay, so for example, we have there. We assume for one, for n to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, itong mga answers mo, ito na yung sequence ng inyong uh, number. So, we have 4, 14, 30, 52, 80, 114. So, ganito yan. So, in finding this one, yung kanilang difference and kanilang ratios, nakita mo at nakuha mo yung general formula. So, ngayon, for example, so this is the layer 1, I mean layer 1. First number, second number, third number, fourth number, fifth number, sixth number. So hanggang sixth number lang, di ba? What if gusto ko malaman ang 40th number? What will be the number in the 40th? So hindi ko na kailangan i-determine si 7, si 8, si 9, hanggang 39 para makuha si 40. So pwede na, producing this general formula, I can already get the value for 48. So, what will be the value? So, so, you will just substitute 40 sa n. So, ito ang mangyayari. Ayan. So, we substitute 40 sa n. So, after substituting 40 sa n, we determine... We determine that the 40th in the 40th term the value will be 484. So that means yan po yung value sa 40th term. So hindi ko na kailangan pang malaman ano yung ika 7, ano yung ika 8, ano yung ika 9 hanggang sa 39. So medyo marami yung proseso. By by, by using the general formula or the n term, I can already determine what will be the value in the 40th term. So, that is the purpose of getting the end term. Okay, so we have also a figure pattern here. So, ito yung figure pattern. So, for first 
first figure, we have two tiles. Second figure, we have five tiles. Eight, uh, third figure, we have eight tiles. Fourth figure, we have 11 tiles. So, ano itong mga tiles? So, yan yung. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, ito. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. O, yan. So, ang question is, you need, we need to determine the n-term formula for the number of tiles for the n figure. Through this, pag makita na natin ang formula, makukuha natin kung ano ang magiging tiles, ano ang ma, ilang tiles meron sa 8 figure. So, meron tayong 4 figure. So, what will be the tiles, how many tiles will there be in the 8 figure? And then, anong figure naman, on what figure will there be an exactly 320 tiles? So, we cannot answer question 2 and 3 without doing the N formula. So, we will do first, find first the N formula. Okay. So, what will be the... So, what will be the n term formula for the number of tiles in the n figure of the sequence? Yan. Ma'am, bakit mayroong, kakatanungin nyo sa akin, ma'am, bakit mayroong mga circle, circle? So, we later on, malalaman nyo yan. Okay, so since, as you observe in the second, third, and fourth figure, meron po tayong makikitang lines, ah, circle, tiles in between. Yeah, tiles in between. So, itong figure 1, wala siyang tiles in between. So, therefore, we will discard, disregard figure 1. Okay, so we have here. Okay, for this second figure. So, we found out there are one tile between. Yan. And two tiles on each. Two tiles on each horizontal. So, ito yung horizontal. Meron tayong dalawang horizontal sections. So, sa kada isang, da isang sections, merong dalawang tiles. Okay. Third figure, we have two tiles in between. Three tiles sa each section. In the fourth figure, we have one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three tiles between. One, two, three, four. Four tiles on each section. Ngayon, how about the end figure? So, kinukuha na natin ang end figure. So, in this one, in the figure pattern, we di we will not anymore. For example, di ba, alam natin, two, two tiles dito, five dito, eight three tiles dito, dito, eleven. Pag figure pattern, di po natin kailangan pang get their difference. Ang kailangan ng natin is through observation. We will observe the figure if there is a pattern that we can get. So, in finding the figure, so may makita tayong pattern. Ano nakikita natin ang ding pattern sa figure? Okay. Yung in between muna. Pag sa second ta, uh, second uh, second figure, one tiles. Third figure, two tiles. Fourth figure, three tiles. So, anong ibig sabihin yan? Ang figures in between is just one sub, uh, subtract mo ng isa sa given figure. Anong level siya? For example, level 2 na siya. So, sa second figure, minus 1, we have one tile. Three figure, minus 1 mo, two tiles. Four figure, minus 1 mo, three tiles. So, that's why there will be N minus 1 tiles between. Anong to N? N is the layer. So, ilang figure siya, ika, ilang figure siya, i-minus 1 mo, yun ang, yun ang number of tiles na makikita in between. How about din ito? N tiles. So, N tiles, ibig sabihin, as you observe, pag sa figure 2, dalawa din. Pag sa 3, 3 din, 3 din yung number of tiles. Pag sa 4, 4 din yung number of tiles. So, ibig sabihin, it depends kung ilang Ikailan siya. So, n tiles ang dapat gamitin. Ngayon, ano na-observe natin? The number of tiles. So, ito na yung create na tayo na formula. 
So, in the second figure, meron siyang 2 times 2 plus 1. Kaya meron siyang 5. Paano ito naki ang 2? Diba? Merong dalawang horizontal uh, sections. Katulad din dito. So, yung 2 is is ano? Is fixed. So, 2. Itong 2 sa loob, ito yung ilang sections meron. Ah, ilang tiles meron sa isang section. So, we have 2. And itong plus 1 is the tiles sa gitna. Same with this one, we have 2 times yung section, tiles sa section. Tatlo. Plus yung sa gitna. Which is 2. That is why we have 8. 6 plus 2 is 8. Same with the 4. So, ngayon, to get the general number, ay the end formula, so we have 2, ano yung ilang tiles meron sa n, sa each section. So, we have n. So, we have n plus, ano, ano naman, ilan namang tiles meron sa in-between? n minus 1. So, we have n minus 1. So, therefore, uh, from here, we can do the operation, remove the, ano yan, the open and close parentheses. Okay, ganun na siya. Ngayon, from the algebra, this is common terms. Hence, meron tong invisible na 1. So, you just add 2 plus 1. And we have 3. And then, copy the variable, which is n minus 1. So, this is your general formula 3n minus 1 so that is how you get our uh, you get your n term of that certain figure so from this nakuha na natin yung n term ng certain figure ano na ang next so ang next ngayon since makuha na natin ang ang n term ng certain figure we can now answer the question letter questions of B, letter B and letter C. So, how many tiles are in the 8 figure of the sequence? So, ito yung formula, di ba? So, how many tiles in the 8? So, 8 figure siya. So, it means there, nasa A8 siya. So, N mo is 8. So, 8 figure. So, we have 8N equals to 24 minus 1 this give us 23. Ibig sabihin, in the 8 figure, there are 23 tiles. Okay, how about the letter C? Which figure will consist of exactly 320 tiles? So, anong hinahanap? Ang hinahanap niya si N. Si N kasi ang figure. Anong figure? So, we have AN equals to 3N minus 1. Since AN is yung ilang number of tiles, so ito ay 320 tiles. So, ito ilalagay si 320. Ayan. And then, 320 minus 1, a uh, plus 1. Okay, baka tanongin nyo, bakit naging plus 1 ang negative 1? Okay, in the, uh, in the equal sign, pag negative siya, pag pupunta siya sa kabila ng equal sign, magiging positive. Pag positive siya, magiging negative. So, you always get the opposite direct, uh, the opposite operation of a certain value pag pupunta siya sa kabila ng equal sign. Okay, ah? Take note nyo yan. So, pupunta siya sa kabila hence, yung negative na ito ay magiging positive. So, we have now 321 cos to 3m. So take note ha, always, it is always that the variable na hinahanap natin ay nasa left side ng equal sign. So, we just interchange them. Yan. And then we divide 3, kasi yun ang value niya, 3, para ma-cancel natin si 3 at matitira si n. So, 321 divided by 3, and we have 107. So, ano tong 107? So, ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin, on the 170th figure, 
it will consist exactly 322 tiles. So, yan. Okay, so that is how you're going to get or use the end formula. So, ganyan lang po yung end formula. Anong purpose ng end formula? Okay, so now we go to the Fibonacci sequence. So, yung Fibonacci sequence, discuss ko na to nung module 1, yung, yung nag-video kayo regarding yung sequence ng scales ng pineapple. Okay, so ang discuss ko lang dito yung mga hindi na-discuss sa Fibonacci. And, and we have here the recursive, which is the, it is a successive, uh, it is a successive term we're in using some of the preceding terms. Okay, so we have also a Binet's formula. So it is named after the mathematician Jacques Philip Marie Binet. So ito yung Binet's formula. So ito yung general formula or end term formula for the Fibonacci sequence. So yan po yung end term formula ng Fibonacci sequence. So ano ang end term for formula ng Fibonacci sequence? It is Binet's formula. Okay, next. So, for example, so hindi ko na kailangan i-example kung paano kukunin ang 10 term, 8 term, gano'n na. For Fibonacci, kasi diniscuss ko na to sa module 1. So, recap ko na lang. So, yung 2, kinuha by adding the 2 successive, two successive terms before number 2. So, pag 3, Kunin mo yung before, uh, two successive terms before 3, i-add mo lang. So, magiging 3. Like the 5, 2 plus 3, 5. Okay, ang, 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 ang example ko lang dito is using a counter example. Sinabi daw dito, if n is even, then fn is an and upper. So, we will use a counter example. So, we know this is a, uh, it is our, this is our n and this is our fn. So, sinabi daw, if n is even, so ito yung mga even. So, yung fn daw niya is add. So, fn niya is add true. fn niya is add true. fn niya is not add. Even ang 8. So, we have found one case wherein this makes the statement false. So, counter example yung ginamit natin. So, we can already tell that statement is false. So, using a counter example. So, yun ang ginamit nating example for the Fibonacci. Okay, so we have also polygonal numbers. So, I already discussed the triangular numbers, the square numbers. Ito yung bago, yung pentagonal numbers. Hindi ko diniscuss nung hindi sinama. Sin ang sinama lang doon is the cube numbers. So, this one, we have, we have also the pentagonal numbers. So, ano na yung mga pentagonal numbers? Yan. Triangular. So, ipapakita ko lang yung kanilang uh, end term. So, we have the end term for triangular, end term for the square, and end term for the pentagonal. So, for example, I would like to know what will be the sequence of numbers. So, what will be the number for the square for the, ano, for example, 10 term. Yung 10 term. So, anong gagawin ko? Sinabi daw dito, kung kunin mo yung si, si, si square ng 10 term, so, 10 square lang. So, on the 10 term, meron akong 100 na value. So, ganun lang. You just uh, substitute, like this one. Gusto ko kunin sa triangular, kung Kung ilan, uh, ano ang value niya pag nasa 7th term. So, just substitute for the 7th. So, we have 7 times 7 plus 1. All over 2. So, we have 7 times 8. All over 2. 7 times 8 is 56 divided by 2. So, we have 33. So, on the 7th term, the on the seventh term, ito sa series nito, ay 33 ang kanyang number. So, sa seventh, 33 ang kanyang number. Okay, ganun lang yung purpose ng end term. Okay, so, 
po, sa elaborate ng activity. So, question muna before I'm going to discuss your activity on how you're going to answer with your elaborate activities. Do you have any question? None, ma'am. Okay, so if no questions, I'm going to discuss the elaborate activity. So, yung mga na-answer na, okay na yun. Pero kung question nyo, pwede na naman ata yung i-resubmit, edit ang answer. So, uh, I will discuss how you will answer for the elaborate activity in your uh, Google Forms, okay? Wait lang ah. Okay, for the elaborate activity, okay. For example, ah, kasi may mga, but may, I don't know ah, kung kaklase nyo ba, some of your classmates ba, or um, uh, schoolmate nyo, yung ibang section. Uh, they asked me na, they try to, uh, I mean, they try to answer, uh, they try to find the, the next term, pero wala daw sa answer. So, sabi ko, kasi ang ginamit nila is, Using only getting the difference. For example, ito, kinuha nila is 4. Ito is 12, di ba? So, hanggang sa makuha nila. So, perhaps, kung hindi makuha using that angle, I mean strategies, perhaps this is 2 times 3. Di ba? Tapos, or 2 times 9. So, titignan nyo kung ano-ano mga different strategies. It can be times, it can be divide, it can be add, it can be subtract, or baka is a product of square, or a product of the cubes, or it's a square number, triangular numbers, and so on. So, use different patterns. So, it doesn't mean na palagi lang subtraction ang gagamitin natin to answer. Okay, that is one, uh, one clue for this. And then next, for example, ah, kasi baka ang tatungin yung ano to, yung sa taas, so dito, sa taas, may mga letters, just put it in your band paper or scratch paper. Ang ipopocus nyo, yung ilalagay nyo yung answer dito. Ano ilalagay nyo yung answer dito? It is a sentence coming from makukuha nyo dito. Dyan. Okay, for example, for letter D. Ang answer, pag, pag solve ko ay nakuha ko siya, ang naging answer niya is left, which is 85. So, si left siya. So, since D siya, so, ibig sabihin, pag ito na, na ay, na, I mean, pag na-answer na si 85, dapat ang ibang letters like A, C, F, G, wala nang letters 85. Iba na naman yung answers nila, Okay. For letter C, so si letter C, ano si C? Assuming, ito na lang, si 40. Tapos si F, assuming si F is ito. Tapos assuming si letter B, ito si 48. O yan. Natik ko na kung ano yung answers niya. Ngayon, ano magiging answers dito? Okay, for letter D, is left ang kanyang word. So, lalagay kong left sa band paper. For letter C, side ang kanyang sagot. So, lalagay ko sa letter C, side. For letter F, da ang kanyang sagot. So, lalagay ko sa F, da. For letter B, is ang kanyang sagot. Lalagay ko is dito. So, assuming meron dito letter A. Huh? So, answer ng letter A is side. So, ilalagay ko side. Hanggang sa mapuno na ang inyong um, uh, prescribed na sagot dito, na word. So, napuno na siya. So, ilalagay mo na dito yung kanyang complete sentence. For example, Ang complete sentence, side is side, left. Uh, assuming yung, yung emo is port. Oh, lagay ko port. So, side is side, left, port, da. So, kung kayo na continue ko ano yun. So, ganun po yung magiging answers nyo dito. So, you answer the whole sentence here. 
and take what is the value. Okay, so that is for the elaborate activity under unit 2. Okay, so questions. Okay, so I guess there's no questions. Okay, I'm going to continue now with the unit 3. Okay, unit 3 na tayo. Unit 3 is about Polya's problem-solving strategies. So, in answering problem-solving, especially in mathematics, there are four steps that we need to use. So, this four step was given by George Polya na pwede nating i uh, e adapt. So, what are these four steps? So, we need to understand the problem. So, alam na naman natin, mostly, ganyan mang ginagawa. Understand the problem. Read and read again. So, hanggang tatlong beses lang ang pag-read, ha? Pag sobra ng five, six, seven times na yan, ha? Hindi na talaga naintindihan ang, ang, ang problem. Okay, after reading the problem or understanding, you need to devise a plan. So, this plan are the strategies you're going to use in answering the problem. And then, you carry out the plan. So, syempre, mayroon ka ng plano. So, kailangan gawin mo yung plano mo. So, saan mo gagawin ng plano? Yung plano na yan ay gagawin mo para ma-answer ang problem. After that, syempre, kailangan mo din review ang solution. In-answer ba ang gustong i-answer? In-answer ba ang gustong uh, isagot? Or, I mean, in-answer ba niya ang ang problem? Baka dalawang question mark, dalawang goal yung pinapakuha, tapos in-answer mo isa lang. So, i-review mo kung na-answer ba, kung tama ba yung pagkuha ng given. Kung hindi, go back again. Minsan kasi, for example, may gumawa ka ng, ng plan. Tapos, pagkuha, punta mo dito, guma, ginawa mo yung plano mo, yung strategies. And then, pumunta ka sa review, sa review. After you reviewing, makita mo na mali pala yung ginawa mo. So, you need to go to your plan. So, you create another strategy na hindi pala siya applicable. So, papalik ka ulit sa carry out the plan. Kasi, change mo yung strategy mo. So, that is the how the polyas work. Okay, so, we will uh, go to each level of the polyas steps. So, first one is understand the problem. Ang sinabi dito you must have a clear understanding of the problem. Dapat clear yung understanding mo sa problem. So, ito ang datanungin mo. Can I restate the problem in my own words? So, kapag hindi mo naintindihan, i-restate mo. For example, pwede mo na, sa Paul, driver 1 has uh, drives the car at 31 kilometers per hour. And driver 2, mga ganon. So, pwede mo nilagay driver 1. Dash, 31, kilo, 31 kph. Driver 2, dash, 32 kph. Para mas klaro siya. Can you determine what is known? So, itong what is known, ito yung given. So, i-determine mo ano-ano yung given. Tapos, meron bang missing information? Or, meron bang information na hindi ginagamit, pampagulo lang siya, pampalito sa problema? Minsan, meron kasi... Para, parang flower lang siya, pampalito. And what is the goal? Ano yung pinapahanap? So, ganyan po yung pag-understand ng problem. After you understand the problem, you use a variety of techniques. So, ito yung mga variety of techniques. So, mostly, ang ginagamit natin is, yun, look for pattern and the guess and check. Ito yung trial and error, guess and check. So, ito yung mostly ginagamit natin. Pag hindi, pag hindi compatible, babalik, change the topic. So, pwede din tayong gumawa ng diagram para mas klaro or make a table or chart. So, there's a lot of strategies. Pero mostly, ito na ang ginagamit yan. Look for pattern and guess and check. So, after you have device a plan, syempre, you carry out mo na plan. You try to answer using your strategies you you like to use. So, you need to work carefully. Dapat accurate and neat ang record natin. So, carefully. Bakit? Kasi minsan, add-add tayo yung pala nakamali na hindi na sumama yung isang digit. Parang ganon. Meron kasi nagmamadali tayo 
nalilimutan na natin dalhin yung isang digit. Naiwan na. Yung iba lang ang nadala. And then, after that, you review solution. So, you need to review the solution so that you will determine kapag tama ba yung ating solution. Oh, consistent ba siya? Na-answer niya ba o na-interpret niya ba ang solution sa konteksto ng inyong problema or not? So, you go back and check your plan and your uh, yung ikatird, ano yun? Um, carry out the plan. Okay, so what are the four steps? We have um, understand the problem and then you devise a plan, you carry out the plan and then review the solution. So after that, and then you answer na pa ang problem solving. Okay, so now we go for the example. Ayan ang ating example. This is a map a map problem. Yan. Sinabi dito, si Allison wishes to walk the streets from point A to point B. How many direct routes? So, yan. So, how will we under, uh, use, answer this problem? First, we understand the problem. Yan. Sinabi is, how many direct routes? Ano ba ibig sabihin ng direct route? Sinabi dito, direct route travels along the street in a direction that gets her closer to point B, not retrace her path or travel away from point B. Okay, for example, this one. So this is one, one uh, direct route. And this one is also another direct route. Yeah. Pwede naman ito. Yan. Pwede naman ganyan. So, ang dami. So, how will we answer this one sa dami nating gagawin? So, mag, paano natin makuha kung ilang direct routes meron? So, first is, he tries, he tries to make this in a diagram. So, ginawa ko muna ng diagram. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 blocks here. 1, 2, 3, 4. We also have 1, 2, 3. So, 1, 2, 3. So, tama na tong diagram ko. Okay. So, nandyan ang diagram ko. Now, so, I need to devise a plan. Sinabi daw dito, to devise a plan, because so, there's so many um, blocks na kailangan ko gawin to get the direct routes. So, how about I consider, ito na yung plan niya, smaller diagram. So, magda-diagram muna siya until we find a pattern. So, dalawang kinamit. So, it, it doesn't mean na pwede lang gumamit ng isang plan. Pwede po kayong gumamit ng maraming strategy. So, gumamit ka muna ng diagrams and then, tina mo kung may pattern ba siya. Okay. So, ito na po niya. Yan. Okay. Baka tanongin nyo, paano nakuha iyan, ma'am? Okay, I'm going to... Wait lang, ha? I'm going to select another color. Okay, for this one box, in going here, I have one. Kaya meron siyang one. I have one again. Ano yung one? One direction. I one route or one direction. One route na lang. Kaya route ang ginamit dito. Route. One route. One route. So, ilang route meron papunta dito? Meron kang one and two. Kaya, two. So, meron kang one, one, two. Ayun. Ito. Ay, sorry. Yan yung kinamit. So, before we going to that, Ito muna. Try muna natin to, Yan. Ganito. So, meron na tayong 1, 1, and 2. So, paano nakuha si 1 and 3? Okay. Use color. Yan. In going here, I have 1. 1 din. In going here, I have 1. Andito naman si 1. So, automatic okay lang yan. Yan, yeah, 1. So, is this 2? Sinabi dyan is 3. 
Yes, it is three. Kasi meron din ito. Ito, y yan. That's why it is three. Ngayon, i-ask ninyo. Ma'am, bakit hindi ito sinama? Ito nga nito, yan. Yan. Yan kulay pula. Bakit hindi sinama yan? Hindi na sinama yan kasi yung sinabi, direct routes. That is not already direct routes. Why? Kasi nandito ka na sa baba, kasi you trace, bumalik ka pa sa pinaka unang layer. Oh, ito yung unang layer. Dapat hindi ka na bumalik sa pinaka unang layer. That's why, this color red direction is not included. Yan. So, yan lang. So, we have three. Okay na. So, take tayo. One, three. So, meron na tayo. Next. Paano naman ito nakuha ang three? Okay. We will create a diagram again. Yan. So, we have one, one, two. Okay. I'll use another color. Yeah. So, we have one route. Yan. We have one route. Yan. And ito. Yan. Kaya naging three siya. Dito, dito. That is why naging three. Hindi sinama ito. Ha? Ito. Kasi... Ito, hindi to sinama. Yan. Kasi bumabalik ka pa sa border niya, which is this one. This is the border. Dapat huwag ka nang bumalik talaga sa border. So, kaya hindi sinama si rutang red. So, that's why tatlo lang po ang meron na um, route. There are only three routes. So, that's why violet ko. So, we have one here. So, nakuha ko na si one. And then, we have three here. Ngayon, paano nakuha si six? Okay. We will use six. Erase. I use color violet. Yan. We have one. Hindi ko na isulat si one ha, kahit na dito na si one. We have one. Next, I'll use, so two violets, so meron tayong two violets, I'll use red. We have this one and this one. So meron din akong two reds. Okay, dapat six, four pa lang to. So I use other color para mas klaro yung ating route. Light green. Okay. Ano pa? Ito. Pwede naman to. Yan. Hmm. And this one. Yan. We have two greens. O ngayon, tatanungin nyo. Ma'am, bakit sinama yan? Kasi nandito pa na, oh. Nandito na ako sa baba. Bakit tumaas pa ako, ma'am? Yan. Di ba, nag-retrace ako? No, you didn't retrace. Hindi ka umalis kasi nasa black ka pa rin. Hindi ka umalis kasi nasa black ka pa rin. And also, hindi ka naman pumunta sa layer na to. Ito. Hindi ka man dumiretso papuntang sa border. Pag sa pupunta ka na sa border, so hindi yun kasama. Kaya nga, itong yellow yan, papunta dyan, hindi na to kasama. Kasi you're getting on the border. Even kahit ito, di ba? Pwede naman itong ganito. Yan. So hindi na, sinama ang yellow route. So, ilan ang nakuha natin? We have two routes for the green, two routes for the red, and two routes for the violet. So, all in all, we have six. So, lagay natin si violet dito ng six. Yan. Nakuha na natin siya. So, after that, anong next? So, may, pwede, pa, pwede na bang uh, mag-stop na tayo mag-diagram? Yes. Because we can uh, we can now use, I oh, sorry, pattern. 
So, you carry out the plan. Yan, kinuha ang pattern. Ngayon, nakuha. Nakita na si 35. Ma'am, paano nakuha si 35? O, tayo na natin ha. 1, 1. Ito yung nakuha natin. 1, 1. 2, 3. 3. And 6. So, paano nakuha ang iba? Okay. So, we observe. Uh, ibang kulay para alam. So, lahat ito ay ones ang border. So, we have one, one. So, one din ang border nito. So, we have to put one. So, check, check, check. Ngayon, ito dito. One, two, three. So, that is why ang is four and five. Check, check. Ngayon. One, ito naman. One, two, three, so yung sunod is four. Check. Next. One, three, ay ito. Wait ha, nahang ang aking, ay, nahang ang aking mouse. Wait lang. Okay, so, ito ha. We have one, three, and six. So, paano natin makuha si 10? Okay. Nahahang ang aking mouse. Wait lang, ha? Bakit yan? Wait lang. Okay, nandiyan na. So, we have 1, 3, 6. So, paano na po si 10 and 15? So, pattern 1, 3, 6. What is the difference between 1 and 3? 2. What is the difference between 3 and 6? 3. Ibig sabihin, there is an increasing. So, we have 4 and we have 5. So, 6 plus 4, 10. 10 plus 5, 15. So, we get 10 and 15. Yan. So, meron tayong 10, 15. Next. So, 1, 3, 6 man din dito ito. So, automatic 10 ito dito. Ngayon, paano nakuha si 20? So, 20 na lang and 35. So, we have 1, 4, 10. Yan. So, we have 1, 4, so, we have 3 and we have 6. Ma'am, hindi siya common. And konti lang yung ating resources. So, hindi natin makita kung ano ba ang susunod. So, we, so sinabi nyo, ma'am, baka guessing na lang. Baka 3, 6, 9. Okay, obvious naman. We always 3, 6, 9. Divisible by 3. Okay, lalagay ko 9. So, 10 plus 9, 19. So, pag ito ang ginamit natin and the real number in the real answer is 20. So, hindi tayo napakuha ng 20. So, ito na yung kapag sa review of solution mo, nakita mo, meron parang ibang answer. Is your answer reason reasonable? Kasi ito ngayon, nakuha natin 19. So, hindi siya reasonable. Because, uh, sab sabihin nyo, um, baka may ibang angle of finding a pattern. So, we will try to look for another angle for finding a pattern. Kasi para makuha natin yung kanyang real solution. Okay, so we will try to see. Saan ang ibang angle ng finding a pattern? Ito. Yan. Both beginning and the end start with 1. Both beginning and the end start with 1. Nandyan yung kanyang pattern. Both beginning and the end start with 1. So, may pattern pala. So, ano pa? Ngayon, makita natin. Going to use another. Uh, erase muna natin. Ngayon, I'm going to use another color of pen. Red. So, makuha natin ang answer by adding the length. I mean, Diagonal na ba na answer, uh, na value, then get the sum. Okay, for example, 
1 plus 1 give us 2. 1 plus 2 give us 3. 2 plus 1 give us 3. 1 plus 3 give us 4. 3 plus 3 give us 6. 3 plus 1 give us 4. 4 plus 1 give us 5. 6 plus 4 give us 10. 4 plus 6 give us 10. 10 plus 10 give us 20. Oh, ayan, di ba? Nakuha siya. 10 plus 5 is 15. Hence, 20 plus 15 is 35. So, nakuha na natin si 35. So, yun lang pala ang kanyang other pattern. So, you try to see, pag, ganit, pag diagonal, baka may makuta, makita tayong pattern din. So, it doesn't mean na always ang pattern ay horizontal or vertical. Minsan kasi naka-diagonal. So, in finding that, so, na-carry out na natin na. And then, we review if the 35 is reasonable. So, na-review natin na pwede na siya, 35 is reasonable. Otherwise, kung gusto niyo talaga malaman through manual, ano yung manual, ma'am? Baka tanongin natin kung anong manual. So, yung manual is, Hanapin nyo talaga kung 35 talaga yung route. So, we have 1, we have 2, isa-isa yung talaga natin. We have 3, we have 4. So, ibig sabihin, time-consuming siya kapag manual, di ba? And, minsan, baka malito na tayo sa daming dadaan ng lines. Ganyan, kaya ganyan na naman. So, malito na natin kung ilang, ilang, um, direct routes ang meron papuntang sa A taling sa A papuntang sa B so that is how you're going to do in answering problem using the Polya's problem so you understand um, review uh, understand devise a plan carry out the plan and you review the solution so any question question po before I discuss the elaborate activity naintindihan ba so, I guess naintindihan siya. Walang question na kasi silence means no question, ma'am. Okay. So, last week I gave you the elaborate activity under module 3, unit 3. So, ito yung activity natin. So, medyo mahirap to kasi it uses a trial and error strategy. Bakit trial and error? Kasi we do not know what are the numbers that will correspond to this Xiptary team? Galing dito. So, pero lang tayong clue. Okay, what's the clue? Each letter represents one of the digits, 0 to 9. And ang clue. The, legi, uh, the leading digits represented by S and M are not 0. So, second clue. S, M, not equal to 0. Yan. A letter that is used more than once, such as M, represents the same digit in each position. And hence, kapag hindi sila magkaparehas na letter, ibang number yon. For example, so assuming, so gusto ko, kasi S and M is not equal to C, so gusto ko si, ano yung mga mari, uh, maraming number, uh, letters dito? M. So assuming, M ang gusto ko is 2. Yan, 2 din dito. So, yung 0, gusto ko yung 0 is um, a 0. Letter O is 5. So, ilalagay ko 5. 5 din dito kasi pare silang O, ha? O, yung E. Gusto ko yung E is 1. O, assuming 1. Nandito din si E. And so, nandito din si E. Ngayon, yung iba is you try and guess. So, titignan nyo, kapag i-add mo yan, Eh, mag, uh, uh, yung answer is pareho din dito. Dapat ganun po ang ating magiging answer for this one. So, you just do it to your scratch paper or any sheet of paper. And then, gagaw yung ganito mong answer, yun ang pipicturan with the solution. La, ipopost o i-upload sa Google Form under Elaborate Module 3, Unit 3. Okay? So, any question regarding sa Elaborate? activities. I guess na intindihan niya. Okay, so recap tayo. Quiz number 3, this will be available tomorrow. 
November 11 at 3 p.m. hanggang November 15 of 5 p.m. Coverage module 3. 40 minutes ang kanyang exam. Okay. Your midterm is next week. So we will not meet on next week. We will meet after next week, which is November 24. November 24 at uh, the same time pa rin, alas 3. So next week is your midterm. So next week, anong gagawin nyo? Midterm lang and do other activities. So wala tayong meetups on Wednesday. Ah, on next week. Even um, advanced activities wala din. Okay? So what will the coverage of your midterm? Module 1 to 3. 50 items, multiple choice. So, 1 point each. So, 50 points siya. Passing is 25. So, don't worry pag hindi na ka 25. Just be sure that you pass all of your activities because your activities and the quizzes are part of your grade for this subject. Okay, so there will be, uh, there will be, if ever there will be solving. So, just prepare before you open the link. Prepare your scratch paper and ball pen because there will be solutions that you need to do, but the answers can be found in the Google form. You just tick kung ano yung answers doon kasi multiple choice. Next, this will be 1 hour and 30 minutes to answer. 1 hour, 30 minutes to answer. Yo, uh, ano pa ba? Uh, it will be available kasi gusto nila kung kailan da yung meetings natin doon na il, il, uh, ibibigay ang quiz. So, to cater students' work and who will be busy that time. So, I'm going to give the same with the quizzes pero hindi siya pupunta hanggang Saturday and Sunday. Kasi gusto nila is during that schedule lang. So, ang bibigay ko, so your quiz will be available by November 18. 1 p.m. until November 20 of 5 p.m. So, within these days, dapat kunin nyo na po ang inyong midterm. So, it, uh, the link will be given to you during that date, November 18, 1 p.m. And so, uh, on your group chat, uh, in our group chat or in your Google Classroom. Okay, so 1 hour and 30 minutes po ang midterm, module 1 to 3, 50 points. Okay, question po regarding quizzes and your midterm. May question ba? Okay, I guess no more questions. Klaro siya. Hindi tayo mag... Ah, okay, so hindi tayo magmimit ha. So, please open your camera. I'm going to take a picture for our documentations for our class. Wait lang. Saan na yung hang na naman? Okay. Wait lang. Okay. Okay, hindi siya naka-open. Naka-open dito sa aking cell phone. Wait lang. Okay, nandito na. Nahang lang pala. Okay, so open your camera. So, okay. Wait na nga. One, two, three. Smile. Okay, another one. Okay, you may turn off your camera now. Okay, so good luck for your quiz and for your midterm. So, wala tayong pasok by next week, ha? Just do your midterm. Prepare for your midterm and quiz. So, your quiz will be available by tomorrow at 3 p.m. until November 15 at 5 p.m. Okay? So, thank you for your time, guys. Stay safe. God bless. Good luck for your quiz. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye-bye.